Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. So a follow-up on that uh, Marks 112 Lehigh Valley diesel locomotive. So I've got the body pulled off. This is the motor itself. And as you see, it's very similar to that uh, motorized truck in that uh, Lionel diesel. It has a DC motor mounted vertically with a uh, helical gear system to drive the wheels. Now this is DC only. So as you see, went through my kit looking for diodes. It took uh, a couple of small diodes. I've got them wired in parallel. And uh, one diode was getting warm, so I just uh, put two of them side by side. And uh, soldered the diode directly to the motor. This is the result. DC locomotive running on AC, as you see. That's running just absolutely splendidly. So, as I always stress, don't overlook the junk, don't overlook the DC locomotives. By simply adding these two diodes, or one larger diode, uh, instant conversion from DC to AC. Now this will not run on AC, it'll just sit there and uh, vibrate. So you burn these motors out trying to run them on AC. But uh, add a simple diode and you're up and running. So I'll reassemble this. I've got to find a way to uh, mount a uh, headlight. As you see the uh, shell is just empty. So I will uh, come up with some way to put a headlight on there. That way I can just wire it directly to the motor and I can add a headlight to this Lehigh Valley diesel switcher. And in just a few minutes you can have a really decent looking and running uh, Mark's diesel locomotive, dirt cheap. In this case, the entire set, the uh, 112 Lehigh Valley set, $11.50 with the uh, locomotive, a hopper, boxcar, and caboose. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video of this running on DC, or on r running on AC. As you see, it works. It works really, really well. Really simple to do. It only takes a minute. And from here on, it is now an AC locomotive. So I'll get this reassembled, put it back on the rail. This is gonna be a great addition to the collection. It was dirt cheap, it runs perfectly. Really, really simple to do this. Only takes a minute and costs a grand total of 20 cents to do the conversion. So just wanted to do a quick video of uh, adding the uh, diode directly to the motor. Like I said, I only had little ones, so uh, I added two diodes in parallel and just uh, soldered them directly to the uh, motor. This is the wire coming directly off of the contactor, as you see. Add the diodes and you have an instant AC locomotive that runs just absolutely perfectly. So I'll get this reassembled. I do have to put a headlight in it and I'll do that next. But uh, just wanted to get the uh, diode installed so I could get this up and running on standard track power. So it's going to work really, really well. So again, don't overlook the junk, don't overlook the DC locomotives. Added a simple diode and it's up and running on AC. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com And as always, thank you for watching.